it's a warm summer day and we use a mini hoe here to help us take a look at the way we've done tillage for years and years. So on this side of the trench and pit, we have an OEM 875 with a seven inch OEM point and you can see the 24 inch shank spacing and the hill and valley effect that's created by that style of tillage. We're back here on this side, we have the 360 bullet and what a difference and what a story the roots are about to tell us. Let's take a look over here where we didn't try to preserve really a lot of corn plants and roots. We wanted to show on the 24 inch shank spacing, the berm that's in between and the soil tightness and density difference. So you can see here where the shank ran, you can see the loose soil density and you can pick up, there's quite a few roots that found their way and like that kind of growing conditions versus where they're at here more in the solid. So easy to pick up the seven inch wing at the 11 inch depth, it busted this out. Then we have a lot of solid in here and here in between those points. We've now moved to the side of the pit where the 360 bullet ran on the 875 Ripper last fall. And we didn't try to preserve any roots here on this half. We wanted to show you we're on a 24 inch spacing. So a shank ran here and here. And I like what I see. By design, the bullet was designed to leave it about an inch and a half of soil above the bottom of the point. So if I take my jackknife and put it in here, you can see all this profile is, is very structured. In other words, roots would have no problem growing through that. And we'll take a look at that behind me on the actual corn plant. So once again, we're looking for a full shatter in that 11 to 12 inch zone. And the wings in this case of the bullet did exactly what they were designed to do. In addition to having good structure where the wing ran on the bottom of the floor, we're very interested in having superstructure up here where the plants themselves are putting their root systems. And you can see here my knife coming through here, we have a very soft structure. So not only where the shank itself ran right on this profile, but we've been able to fracture all the way across here. And though it's dry, you can see that this soil was left in very, very good shape. So on the opposite side of this pit wall, we have the standing corn crop here. We can take a look right at the roots themselves. This corn's at the V8 stage, and it's a corn on corn field. Last fall after harvest, we come in and made a pass with the 875 Ripper. And you can see that we did about a five to six inch with the front gang of disc to manage the residue. It left a tillage layer. And we often discuss as farmers, one with another, our belief on tillage. But at the end of the day, the root always tells the true story. In this case, you can see here in these corn plants, these roots are coming out of this crown and they're growing straight across this tillage change. In other words, where the disc gangs went compared to the solid berm in between these 24 inch centers. So you can see right here is where the shank ran. And then we have the solid berm. The top of that berm was loose last fall. Roots went down and then they turned and they're growing and seeking. There was a large crack here on this profile. You can see that evidence of that by this root right here. Look how flattened out he is. So this root was growing right down that crack and he's elongated and flattened as he was seeking his way down into moisture. And you can pick up these cracks and you can see the roots right inside that profile. So roots are getting down through the berm having to work their way and fight to find that crack. You can see that here on these guys. Take a look at this set. Look how they wiggled and twisted and turned. Tremendous horsepower on the way the roots designed to grow. And he hits that disc chillage and now he's fighting his way when he hit the actual, then in this case, he hit the shank, the bottom of the point, and he's twisting and working his way through that layer. And you can see it here by the evidence of how twisted up he is. He looks like, you know, almost like a snake in a road. And so this is just talking to us. And it's telling us that yes, we did tillage in here last fall, but it's not ideal, 100% perfect. These roots are working across a five inch profile and happen to find their cracks to go down like you see this guy right here. He's growing right down in the crack itself. 
Let's take a look at the other side of the trench where we run the 360 bullet. On this side of the face wall, we have our V8 corn. And once again, where the bullet ran, we've got the roots exposed. And I'm a corn guy, and it doesn't take long for me to get pretty excited when we look at this root system that we have underneath these rows that we've exposed. We're visual as farmers, and we always look at what's above the ground, but where we're standing in this field, half the battle is fought under the ground. And so we'll let the roots do the talking here. And we know the way God created corn, that roots move down in a 30 to 35 degree angle through the profile, unless something obstructs them and they have to change course. So where we've done this 11 inches of tillage with the bullet, we have roots that are just talking to us and you can see as they migrating the ground. Take a look at this root here. Ideal picture perfect. He's just working his way down and he's a happy root because we don't see any kinks or turns. He moved his way down. The AB level, when we talk about the A horizon and the B horizon, and it's different for all of you. In Iowa, I feel so sorry for you, your A horizon might be 30 inches, the top 30 inches of just prime topsoil. But here in central Illinois, we're about in that 11 to 12 inches. So we try to run our ripper point about an inch below our AB. And that boils and mixes that in case the soil density is different in the B horizon versus the top A. We do not want a root to turn and run across the top of that AB line. In this case, we've come right through it. And you can see here, it didn't blimp up or down. It made its transition and it's working its way down. So as I grade this wall, like I told you, I get pretty excited because you can see the kind of root growth that we've had. And as I take my jackknife and I start to work in here, you can see the root systems and you can follow them down. And in this case, this is a brace root that's coming down. He's good size and he's working his way down through here. But the structure itself should speak volumes to you. And you can see as I work this loose, how it's just mellow and loose and we're working it all the way through. You don't pick up the five inch disc layer. So if we come in here and we look here, at the five inch line, you can see these guys here made that transition. We're over on the OEM side, they turned and they ran for 10 inches across the top till they found a crack. 